Hey guys, welcome back to Fern Bus for Simple Economy, where we're in München, having just come back from Stuttgart, and we're going to create a new route. And I was thinking about where we might go, and I think what I'm going to do with this one is go München to Constance up to Freiburg. It's quite a long route, it's nearly six hours, 492 kilometres. It's about the same as the one we did to Vienna, I think. So route 19. So let's go to our spreadsheet and go to definitions. So we need München to Freiburg. We need München to Constance. And don't forget, the only point of this page is really a reminder for us of all the things that we've set up. This doesn't control the actual routes, that's on the next page. Now we need Constance to Freiburg. OK, so we've got München going to Constance, then to Freiburg. That should be fine. So it's 492 kilometres for the whole route is that one and we did one of a similar length it was about this sort of thing so it's 45 49 52 99 those are the rates we used before we use them again okay so what we need to know is how far is München to Constance 316 Which therefore means that that must be 176. Okay, so 316, we've had things of that sort of length before. We had a 316 there, 2999, 3475. Let's do that. Okay, that will do. 176, we had a 174 there, we'll use that. 2499 and 2999. That keeps our ticket rates pretty consistent. Okay, so Route 19 is going to be München to Freiburg via Constance. Okay, time for the whole route. Is 5.53 and it's 492 kilometres I think we said let's check that 492 ok and we've got 24, 29, 34, 45 and 52 so we've got 24 29 Okay, so that is going to be our route. Okay, that's fine. So I've got um, Firm Bus now set on system date rather than always pulling in the same date. So it's set on system date, which today is 5th of July, which is Friday. Okay, München to Freiburg via Constance, that's fine. Uh, every day so Thursday, yeah that'll do, that's fine. Okay, we should be all right to go. Okay, save that. Okay, we should be in München. We should be in the depot at München. You can see the date is set, it's sort of greyed out, it's set on system date. So it will change every day. The day changes. Today is 5th of July, I'm recording this, so it's set on Friday the 5th of July. Okay, so we are here, which is München Depot. We've got to go down to the München uh, stop and pick our people up. We've got to go, there's loads of rest stops, look at all them. Uh, down to Constance, but I'd imagine our rest stop is going to need to be 
between Constance and Freiburg and there isn't one so we'll probably have to do it at Constance after we've done the passengers there because there isn't one the rest of the way there's loads before it so coming back won't be a problem but let's see what it says for the rest stop anyway so I'll log into the phone yeah the stop is after Constance but we should be able to um, yeah sort that out at Constance do the stop there hopefully okay right let's get our Quite a bit warmer. Yeah, it's a month and a bit later than it was before, so that's why we're in July now, so it's a bit warmer. Hopefully, the weather's a bit better. No, in my luck, it means even more thunderstorms. Now I'm just going to check. Yeah, we've got a full tank of fuel because we're in the depot. But I'm going to try and sort this refueling out at some point. But for now. More interesting this route. Not driven this route before, so it's going to be an interesting one. And we're going to have to use the trick of resting after dealing with the passengers at the stop because I think that's the only way we're going to be able to do it. That's why you need to check the map and plan where your rest stops are going to be because if there aren't any, then you need to find a way round it. There's not even a petrol station to stop at and do the trick there, so we're going to have to do the at the stop trick. If we can get out of here. Friday the 5th of July and the traffic is horrendous. Noticeably worse than we've had it before. I don't know if that's anything to do with the date or what it is, but... And the problem is... Yes, the light has gone red down there, and nothing's moving. Oh, this is fun. Joy, what do we do here? Wait, I guess. What can we do? One would think there's got to be a gap eventually, surely. Right, they're moving, slowly. The question is, can we get our nose out? persuade somebody to let us out? That's the question. Not yet, he ain't gonna let us out, look. A little bit further forward. Hmm. They're not having it, are they? Come on, somebody let me out. I damn push too far forward because we'll get hit. See the guy sitting in his lorry, but he's not letting me out. Thanks, mate. I suppose I'm not indicating. Let's put the indicator on and see if that makes any difference. I doubt it. The only other thing I'm going to have to do is hit backspace to clear the traffic. I think I'm going to have to. Don't like doing it, but I don't think we're ever going to get out of there otherwise. Right, that should hold that line for a minute. Let's do it again. With a bit of luck, I can ease across there. Right, that should resolve the problem. I think otherwise we could have been stuck there for quite some time, but that's why I want to sort out the refueling, so I'm not going back to the depot. Because then we shouldn't have that issue. So that's why I need to sort out refueling. And I think you need to refuel and go back to the stop before you log out. Because then when you continue, you can set up your room and you'll be at the stop ready. I think that's how it will work. But I'm not 100%.
it's Friday about 9.49 in the morning and the roads are extremely busy in Munchen, it seems. Because before it's been stuck on Saturday and you'd expect less traffic at the weekend probably? Maybe? I wonder how many passengers we'll get. Does it mean we'll get loads more passengers? It'd be interesting to see. Didn't look like there was all that many on the um, route when I looked at where the rest stop was. I think it said 10 passengers were waiting for me. Which is okay, because 10 is enough to break even or make a slight profit. And there may be some on top of that want to buy tickets because I don't think that includes the ones buying tickets. I'm not sure. But we'll see. I think the 10 might just be the pre-booked ones. Because technically that's all it knows about is these people who've pre-booked. It wouldn't know about the other people who are just standing at the side of the road, would it? You'd think. But we'll see when we get there. I don't like having to use backspace to clear the AI, but I don't see how we were going to get out of that depot. There's the traffic which is gridlocked with those traffic lights, I don't think we were ever going to get out of there. Didn't look like it to me anyway. I think we'll still have plenty of time to check people in. I don't think we're going to be too short of time. Though even if we were, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Even if we left slightly late, it would hardly be the end of the world. Traffic density is still on 100, of course. So it is on maximum. You could turn down the traffic density and there would obviously be less traffic. Whether you need to do that because of certain days, I don't know. I'd rather just find a way to cope with it rather than turn the traffic density down because I like having it on 100. I sort of think, well, that's a realistic level. So. That's the default level at 100. I mean, it's only a case of turning it down to make it easier, I guess. Because when we came through it before, loads of those buses were white, now they're all green. So they do change. And around the corner here, we had two green ones. So it'll be interesting to see what we've got around here now. white one there and a green one here. So that's changed a bit. And if you remember earlier we had a green one over there which had the Erfurt Castle fair on the back of it. So that proves that they definitely do change. Right. Checking the people who've got tickets leave the people buying tickets till the end. If there are any. Peak. Yeah, there's one I can see over the back there. Two, three, all oh, three people buying tickets. Well, look at it. Okay, let's start with this lady here. Okay, she's going to Freiburg. Monch and Gladbach, we're not going there. Constance. So that's one of each now. Constance is the halfway stop, Freiburg's the end of the route. One of each. Okay. Hello, Bitte. Constance, that'll be two and one. Thank you, Jim. Salut, das ticket. Bitte schön. That'll be three and one. Sehr freundlich. Hi, ich hoffe, ich bin hier richtig. Four and one. Auf geht's. Hart, ich hoffe, ich bin hier richtig. Five and one. Ciao. Bon? No, we're not going Bon. Sorry, mate. 
Six and one. Nearly everybody's going to Constance. Seven and one. Sehr Seven and two. Linda, yep. Linda. And this lady here. Salut. Fahren Sie in meine Richtung? Constance. So that's eight to Constance and two okay. to Freiburg. Okay, let's do that. So we have got now what is the rate to Constance? Munition to Constance is twenty nine. So we've got eight of them. Don't know if there's anybody buying them yet. But we've got two of them. Okay, let's see if there's anybody buying tickets to Constance. Okay. Okay, this lady wants a ticket. Where are you going? Constance. There we go. There's our first one. She's got her phone out to pay. You're welcome. Hello. Ich benötige noch ein Ticket für die Want to Freiburg, a ticket for the fart. Ticket for the journey. Can I buy a ticket for the journey? Yeah, you certainly can, sir. Danke schön. One of each now. What have we got over the back here? Why are you right over the back here, madam? Hello. Könnte ich bitte ein Ticket bei Ihnen kaufen? Ticket by Ihnen kaufen means buy a ticket, I think. You're welcome. Right, so we sold two to Constance and one to Freiburg. That's what we did. Okay, so two people bought tickets to Constance. Uh, yep, one person. Okay, so now at the next stop it's twenty four ninety nine or twenty nine ninety nine unless I'm much mistaken. That's right. So if they've already got the ticket, they'll be there. If they buy the ticket, we have to increase that number. Okay. Right, we're still early. I could have waited like five minutes for that to sort itself out at the depot. So I'm just not convinced it ever would have done. That's a problem. Maybe I should have sat there a while to see because you think somebody might decide, well the traffic lights ahead of me is red, I can't go anywhere, so I'll let this bus get out. And they didn't seem to want to do that. Though for a long time I didn't have the indicator on. Maybe if I'd been indicating from the outset we'd have got out of there. I don't know. We will try it again at some point. Right, for now. Let's worry about the route, because I've not driven this route before. And I must remember the rest stop at Constance. Because there is no rest space between Constance and Freiburg, we know that. There are loads before Constance, but that doesn't do us any good, because it wants a rest stop after Constance. Coming back, it'll be fine. Okay. I just got to remember to do the rest stop at Constance and not not drive off without doing it because then we are pretty much screwed really because there's nowhere to stop not even a petrol station which really doesn't help but there you go such is life okay so we'll try and get out of munchen that's the first requirement Three and a half hours to get there.
Okay, so. Be interesting to find out how busy the motorways are. This bit of Munchen is completely devoid of traffic, but it did seem busier back there. So it'll be interesting to see how busy the motorways are. It'll be interesting to experiment with the date, which of course if it's left on system date will happen automatically. Today's Friday, see what tomorrow's like, and then Sunday, see if we see less traffic or more traffic on a Sunday. You would think less, because people are not working. Some people will be out on the roads going wherever, shopping, off to a beach, whatever you do on a Sunday. I mean, the fuel station's there. So that is where I would need to go to refuel. Hmm, okay. Need to make sure I know the route to it. And check the map though, so you can always look at the map, see where you are and where you need to be, and try and work out sort of up here, turn left, turn right, turn left, whatever. Now, I think this is a different way out of Munchen. I don't think we've been out this way before, because I don't recall it. Seems different to last time, unless I'm imagining things. It's more than possible. This doesn't feel quite the same. We are going a different way. So, because we're heading sort of towards Switzerland way, which we haven't been, so... clear enough. Oh, what was that? Well, I'm not even sure what it was. Hmm. Strange. Okay. Quite sure what that was. Maybe it was a barrier or something. I don't know. Okay. Right, how much traffic is there on the motorways? Right, Constance is in this lane, so I can't pull out. It doesn't look, look any different, really. Can't say it looks remarkably busier at the minute. It's not like they can all have finished work and gone home early on Friday, because it's only like 10 o'clock in the morning. You ought to do some work before you go home. there now. So we need to go around this loop. So I'm not sure if I caught the barrier as I was going around that junction back there or what it was, but there was no cars to hit that I could see. Unless an AI car magically appeared out of somewhere. I've seen it magically disappear, so I suppose anything's possible. Anyway, let's not be concerned. Let's get to Constance. I don't think the amount of AI on the motorway is appreciably different. Not yet, anyway. But it's more likely, I suppose, it would be in the cities. And Munchen did definitely seem to be busier. Oh, 
I think it'll be a bit more fun to stick it on system date and leave it there and then, you know, the day is the day and you put up with what you get sort of thing. The only thing we need to do is make sure that the routes we're driving we set to run on that day. That's not the end of the world. Okay. Now, 265 kilometres to go. And two and three quarter hours to do it, so that shouldn't be an issue. on in preparation for the tunnel. Always think it's good practice to have your lights on in the tunnel. I'm not entirely certain whether all the AI do or not, but I'm certainly going to. I'm doing 80 in an 80, so... Shortish tunnel. Nothing like those ones in Austria, that's a sure fact. Don't see any animals by the roads yet. No cows, deer, anything else. Well, I think cows are the only thing I have seen. I haven't even seen sheep. I thought there might be some sheep about. Surely there are sheep in Germany. I can't say it's known for its lamb, but I thought there must be some. Anyway, we're coming up on the first of the many services. Doesn't look like there's a police stop here, but there's a potential for a few on this route. I thought we were okay at this one. So we need to get to Constance, sort out the passengers. Then when we click start ride, hopefully it will go to take a break and we can then turn the engine off, get out, take a break and um, that will sort out our rest issue, hopefully. Cross fingers at this point. Usually works but you can't always guarantee these things. bad route but it does look like it's going to be motorways most of the way. Mind you, once we get to Constance it looked like the road going down into Constance might be a bit more windy and could be a much more minor road so we've got that to come. We'll see. Quite a pleasant drive with all the trees either side and everything though. Makes it feel a little less like a motorway where you just... Because motorway driving can be pretty boring, you have to say. Especially once you're in whatever your top gear is, in my car it's fifth, stick the cruise control on, your feet ain't got a lot to do. It's not like driving in a city or town where you've got to continually be changing gear and braking and everything else. No 
motorway driving is a different skill which is why they've now started teaching it in driving lessons for driving tests which is a good idea I think because it is a different skill as long as he doesn't pull out that flicks bus stand straight on. Wurzburg is off down there. We haven't been there yet either. So we'll probably need to do a route that takes in Wurzburg. And I was thinking we need to do some routes to Frankfurt Airport because I think it's logical that there would be people from surrounding towns going to Frankfurt Airport so it might be sensible to connect the hubs to the airport then all the other services feed into the hubs and then people get the bus from the hub to the airport so we could do München, Cologne, all of those connecting to the airport that might be sensible Mate. Why we're nearly coming to a halt there, I'm sure, but we seem to have resolved it now. Coming to a stop in the middle of the motorway doesn't seem the most logical thing in the world, but there you go. So what are we thinking about the Simple Economy so far guys? Are we thinking it's worth the effort? It's not worth the effort? A virtual coach company would be fun or not worth the effort or not really bothered either way? <laughs> interested to know what anybody thinks. Feedback's always a good thing. Anybody wants to copy the spreadsheet just to test it and you know run a game and see if you can find any errors, you're more than welcome to do that, because if there's any there, I'd like to find them and correct them, but so far, from my point of view, it seems to be doing what I intended it to do. I would just like to develop it to do a lot more. We could put some randomly generated stuff in it as well. like a, a randomly generated breakdown cost or something and of course you wouldn't see the breakdown in um, firm bus but you could perhaps have a randomly generated cost which once every on average because it can be randomly generated so you don't know it could generate it three times in a row but maybe once every ten routes or something on average you get a cost for breakdown or servicing or whatever you want to call it could do that and it could also cover the cost of things like new routers when the Wi-Fi goes down or possibly replacement loo when the restroom is broken I don't know if they basically all unblock something or whatever, but it all costs money, whatever you do. I mean, if you need a plumber to unblock the thing, or you're paying a maintenance guy to maintain the buses, it's all going to, it all has a cost. But you could put a randomly generated number somewhere and say, maybe do it out of a hundred so it's a percentage and maybe set it at like 10 so perhaps say if if the number generated is greater than 90 chuck it in extra cost so then your costs for that route would equal whatever the costs were before plus a randomly generated figure and you have to work out what that figure is going to be which might be 
most technical bit of it all. We need a bit of playing with and see if the number feels right. But okay, so where are we going here? We're going straight on, apparently. I sort of need to get out of here then. How far have we got to go? 125 still. Plenty of time to do it, I think. Why are we coming to a stop, guys? Every time you get those little lane changing bits, they seem to get in a major tizzy about it. Like this. To be honest, I don't really know why. Yeah, that guy stopped back there to let me sort it out. So is this evidence of more traffic on the motorway? It could be. It's evidence of me not being able to sort my lane out. So maybe because it's Friday, the traffic's heavier than on a Saturday. It's beginning to look that way now. More than it did earlier anyway, there's a Flix bus the other side of the road. Okay. Stuttgart, Freiburg and Constant straight on. I'll see what I can do from this lane. Okay. So when it goes from like four lanes down to three lanes or three down to two the AI seems to get into a complete mess really doesn't seem to be able to flow through the changing of lanes you'd have thought it should just flow I mean it shouldn't be much of an issue well, I suppose there's people in all three lanes and they're trying to go down into two could get a bit of a wait your turn situation or something. We're getting closer now, we're under 100 kilometres to go in about an hour and 20 minutes. No idea how big Constance is. Indeed, I've got no idea how big Freiburg is. I sort of get the feeling Freiburg is going to be bigger than Constance. But that may be wrong. But Constance, I'm not sure if we're talking small town or village. The only really small village I've come across is the one going up to the hotel, Lucenthal or whatever it's called. I mean that is pretty small. But most of the other places have been bigger than that. And one assumes in Germany there are lots of little villages scattered around between all these towns we're visiting which probably aren't modelled in the simulator, but there's no real need to model loads of places that you're not going to go to anyway. And coach services probably wouldn't. Local bus services would probably take people into the towns where they would then pick up intercity coaches. You would think. It's a logical way you would think it would work. 
Still don't see any sign of a police stoppers yet. With the number of services we're passing, I'm quite surprised. Pleasantly surprised, but surprised nonetheless. Okay, how far to go? 60 odd. Mr. Policeman. They're all coming into me from either side. What do you want me to do here? That guy didn't stop coming out of the slip road. The policeman didn't break behind me. I was a bit sandwiched. Police car nearly turned over. He's fine now, look. Go straight by. Not a sign of any damage. Oops. Oh well. Right. Constant straight on. Let's make sure we follow the route. That's the most important thing. Or we'll be in real trouble. If we end up on the wrong road. Now that car behind me should have plenty of time. Yeah, he was fine. The police car wasn't exactly on the emergency. I mean, he hadn't got his lights and sirens going, so... something I guess. Okay. We've got to go all the way around this loop. And we should be near enough in Constance. Cross your fingers and hope. Don't pull across in front of me, that's fine. It was actually far enough in front of me, didn't cut me up like some of them do. Oh, mountains. Mountains going into Switzerland, Swiss Alps. We're getting down that way, so could be, I guess. And I'm pretty much going to stay in this lane because I think I've got to come off again pretty soon. It didn't look like it was a big road like this heading down into Constance. It might have been. There's got to be a Constance turn somewhere, surely. Is that water? Is that a lake? It's like a rather large lake an island in the middle. That's what it looks like. Don't know if there's anybody fishing, but it looks like a rather large lake to me. Like a very large lake I would say. Twenty kilometers. We're pretty close. Ah, is this Constance here? This could be it. Which means it's virtually on the lake. Worst places to be, I guess. This looks like this is going to be Constance, it is. 
So this is a pretty major road going straight through the middle of Constance by the look of it. I suggest Constance is bigger than I thought it was. Still hardly the size of Munchen, I wouldn't have thought, but definitely not a village. I think we can say that. Let's just get around here. Okay. Looks like we've got to go left up here somewhere. Nice view of the mountains in the background there. So I reckon we're sort of Switzerland would be straight in front of us up there somewhere. So I reckon that could be the Swiss Alps. Plenty of time. Nearly half an hour. We're only five kilometres away from the stop, so time is not an issue. Unless I get hopelessly lost finding the stop, but that shouldn't happen really. Well, it looks like straight in front of us. Looks like it's just round here somewhere. Hopefully traffic ain't going to be too busy for getting back out when it comes to it. So where is the stop? Oh, there's the stop, but it's on the wrong side of the road. So we've got to go down to the end and turn round. Okay. Different? Maybe this road is a dead end. And it's just a turnaround point at the bottom or a roundabout. Something of that nature. Let's see. There's the stop we want. I have left. And it's quite a group of people waiting for me. And it's a roundabout. behaved itself at that roundabout. Right, just remember to rest after I've done this. Hello, hello, guten tag. Okay, let's see what you want. Potsdam? No. Sorry, hello. mate. Oh no, sorry. Freiburg, yes, madam. That's one. Uh, Freiburg, yep. Alice, that's two. Freiburg. Danilo. Okay, that's three. Uh, Leticia, that's four. Kiel, no, we're not going Kiel. Five. Six. Seven. We've got somebody over there to do. Okay, there's nobody buying tickets. Well, you're going to Freiburg, but you're not on the... Oh, you are on the list. I beg your pardon, you are. On you go, madam. Eight, then. Okay, so... 
do the spreadsheet first. So there were eight people who already had tickets and nobody bought any, so we don't need to change that other eight. Imagine we're getting quite a good profit on this route. 260, very nice. I think our profits might be going a bit high. I wonder if that cost index figure is right, but then again. Right, do we need to skip forward? Yes. Um, I'm hoping when I click start ride it'll say take a break. It does. So if I go back and turn the engine off, now theoretically it will let me rest. In order to take a break, the doors are required to be open. Are they not? Oh, the back one's not. Hang on. Hold on, hold on. There you go. Back door's open. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. Try now. Yay! Result. Okay. Break done. Check passengers. 11 of them. Where are you all? One, two, three. The short woman. <laughs> it's a bit of a bump. She hides sometimes. Okay, what have we done? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And he makes eleven. Sitting all on your own at the back, mate. Oh well. Checked. He prefers to sit all his own on the back seat. Okay. Right, so now we can close the doors. Well, the engine. Yes, it agrees that the rest stop has been done. So that's all worked nicely. And now we can head for Freiburg. So again, that trick of doing the rest while you're at a stop worked. Don't see why it shouldn't. So I've got a feeling in the back of my mind that I tried it once and it wouldn't let me. I think I might have been trying to rest, rest way, way, way early. And that might have been why. So what we got? 175 kilometres to do. considerably shorter than the first bit, so it shouldn't take us too long now, hopefully, if we can just get out of Constance. So now, for some reason, this red vehicle, not quite what you call that, isn't moving. And I think he wants to go up there, the same way I want to go. And if he can't get round the inside of that car, there is something seriously wrong. Go on, mate, there, there's a gap there big enough to get three buses through. Now he's going to go. I mean, if he couldn't get through that gap, there is something seriously wrong. The AI goes from driving into you at times to being ridiculously overcautious. It's a bit like on tourist bus simulator when you drive into one of the towns and if you leave your bus to go and discover a restaurant or a hotel or something, even if it's parked in a bus stop, it's effectively a lay-by, so it's actually off the road. All the traffic queues up and won't go past it. It's really quite strange. Because the road is empty. You're like, well, the road's empty, guys. You could just drive straight by. Why are you all sitting there queuing? It's most peculiar. But there you go. That's AI for you. Never perfect. Right, here we go. Let's get out of here. Constance is not tiny by any means, is it? Definitely not a village. I'm not sure it would be quite classed as a city, but if not, it's a pretty large town. Certainly bigger than I was thinking on the way, so there you go. Shows what I know.
So we had one accident, which was sort of made into a bit more than one, on the motorway when I got sandwiched and I'm not sure what I could really do about it. And we had one where apparently I hit something that I didn't even know was there, unless it was a barrier. So, there you go. Not the most successful journey in the world, this one. This is where if there was a real economy in Fernbus with costs for having accidents, it would be costing me a fortune, but there you go. make sure I follow the road. I've got two hours to get there, which should be plenty. We're making quite a decent profit on the route. Quite a few passengers, enough to earn us quite a nice profit. Not least because at the first stop we had three people buying tickets. Oh, rain. I don't think there's any stops rest stops or fuel stations between here and Freiburg, therefore we can't get any police stops. That's the way I'm thinking. So this should be pretty straightforward. We will try to avoid any issues with any AI. I think traffic has been a bit busier, would you say? I think, not massively, but I do think there's a bit more traffic around because it's Friday and not set on Saturday all the time. So I think maybe that'll make a difference. The real test of that, I guess, would be to see what happens on a Sunday. It may not make a lot of difference, but you'd expect roads to be quieter on a Sunday, because surely they are. Oh, thanks! Drive into me! Get off! Idiot! How can you just pull into the lane and go straight into something? See what I mean about the AI? There was nothing I could do. I was driving in a perfectly straight line, and he just pulled straight to the side of me. The problem was, his lane was going to end. So he had to come in a lane. But rather than wait, like slow almost to a stop until I'd gone past where the lane ends and then just pull in behind me, no, I'll just pull into the lane now because I need to be in that lane. The fact that you're there is irrelevant. I'll just drive straight into the side of you. Well, that don't work, does it? It's a bit of a disastrous journey, this one. <laughs> Everything happening. The only thing that could be worse now is if I get hopelessly lost, go about 300 kilometres further than I need to go, end up way, way late. The restroom and the Wi-Fi all break. What else could happen? Because I've got hopelessly lost, I end up with loads of police stops, which on this route are probably impossible, because I don't think there are any areas they can stop me. Other than that... Oh God, we've got roadworks coming. Oh, speeding fines. I could get done for speeding about 80 times, I suppose. There's always that possibility. Well, guys, I'm going to get into the right-hand lane, and I'm going to try and stay there. I'm going to 
and try and travel as near 60 kilometers an hour as I can. The limit appears to be 80. Oh, all right. Well, I've got for 80 then. I was expecting 60 in both works, but it says 80. Right, that's got out of those roadworks without any major incident anyway. Now looks like we've got to turn off towards Freiburg. Is that thunder? I suppose we could get struck by lightning. I mean, that could just about sum up the entire journey. Wolves? Oh dear, somebody's had a bit of a moment there. Not sure quite what's happened there. So I've not done that. I mean, I've not ended up piled into the side of a barrier yet. There's still time. But I've not done that. I've not turned the coach over anywhere, which would be pretty serious. And we got up to that hotel and back, which I thought would be the worst journey of the lot, actually pretty well. Which still amazes me. We're all right there. Okay, so Freiburg straight on, and we surely must be getting pretty close. 93 kilometres. Not as close as I'd like to be, but getting there. And this weather really is not helping again. visibility is considerably less once it starts to belt it down and you do have to be a bit more careful with the AI I think even more than normal it's quite impressive by the way if you look at the ground there it's looking like it's got very wet very quickly almost puddle like and it dries remarkably quickly as well Assuming that the rain does stop, of course. Mind you, you could also, of course, be driving into an area where it hasn't rained. Every shower must have an end somewhere, so... It may not be that it's drying really quickly, it may be it just hasn't rained there. At all. That sounded like thunder. So when it was a lot warmer this morning, I was hoping that maybe the weather was going to be better, but that hasn't turned out to be entirely true. It's been alright most of the way, and then it suddenly, as we got near Switzerland, it's got a lot worse. Well, we're not that near Switzerland, actually, we were near Switzerland when we were in Constance. Well, we're going East Germany now. No, West. Sorry, we're going West. Into Western Germany. So we're heading back to France way. And as we're getting closer to France, the weather's got worse. So we could always blame the French. Or you could also say you're getting closer to the UK, so you could blame us. British weather. Notorious all over the world. I thought the sun was coming out, but I'm not sure it is. Seem to be a bit of shadows from the trees, but the rain is still coming down. Which is what rain tends to do go up very often. I 
there's a hundred limit down here which seems to me to be optimistic especially in the rain we're much more comfortable around 80 I think a hundred's pushing it down here really these are most of these single carriageway roads to be doing a hundred kilometers an hour seems a bit although it's only 60 mile an hour as I said before which is the limit in the UK on a road like this so it's about right but it just feels fast and I don't trust the AI not to do crazy things I mean I've seen cars doing multiple 360 degree spins in front of me when they've lost control and I mean it can happen literally right in front of you so I just don't trust it not to do something weird. See Laurie's jackknife. That's happened before. For no apparent reason, you have to say. But As I say, going up to the hotel, seeing vehicles upside down going up there, who clearly had a major issue. They weren't lorries, they were vans, more like the um, speedy courier ones. I don't think it was a speedy courier, but it was something like that, that sort of vehicle, and it was upside down. Right as you came out, one of the worst bends on the road, but then it would be, wouldn't it? And there's the speedy courier. They seem to have a depot in every town that I go to. So there always seem to be lots of them around. shouldn't need to refuel at this end because this is the same distance as Munchen to Vienna which we did comfortably there and back on a tank of fuel so I shouldn't need to refuel at this end when I get back to Munchen that's when I'll need to refuel and that's when I'll find out if my little plan works or not if it doesn't then I'm confused as to when you're supposed to refuel You're not supposed to do it when you've got passengers on board. You apparently can't do it after you click log out. So the only time you can do it is between letting your passengers get off and logging out. Seems to be the only time. See, a hundred down here. I mean, really? Honestly? A hundred around those bends? <coughs> Don't think so. Okay, where am I going? Straight on. Okay. Apart from the fact the light's on red. But 100 down that road around some of those bends, I mean, I think that's pushing it. Don't know if it's just me, but that seemed to be pushing it. What have we got? 16 kilometres. We're near enough there. And we're up for like 45 minutes still. So we're going to be on time. So at least that's gone to plan, I suppose. About the only thing that has. Oh! See, how can they do that? I mean, clearly, he should stop and wait for me to go by, then come out behind me. But they don't. They just pull straight out. It's as if I'm not there. It's like, well, I don't care if you're there or not. I'm just going to pull it out, and if I hit you, I hit you. Well, 
No, that's not the way you drive, mate. I'd like to hop out and go and give him a piece of my mind, but it wouldn't achieve anything. Because he's not real. You have to bear in mind it is an AI character, but you have to think, that was really stupid driving. I really wish they wouldn't do that, because it is most annoying, but there you go. If the AI didn't do stupid things, it would be pretty boring, because you'd just be driving around from city to city with no real challenge. The challenge is avoiding the weird things the AI gets up to. But you just get to the point where you can't trust them to do anything. Even the simplest manoeuvre in the world, you think, oh, this is going to go hopelessly wrong. When I'm joining the main roads, I generally try to do a reasonable job of looking in my mirror, see if there's something coming. If there is, let it go by and pull out behind it. They don't. It's straight out. Moan about the AI, over. What's the expression about having the serenity to accept the things you cannot change? You can't change the AI, so I have to have the serenity to accept it. And just say, it is what it is. Much though it may annoy me, I will just get on with it. if it allows me to get on with it. Right, 50 kilometre an hour limit. We're in the city, we've got 9 kilometres to go. Freiburg looks like it's a fair size. Older buildings, you know, it's, I haven't seen any modern office looking buildings yet. Maybe we're not downtown yet. Oh, come on, mate. Surely you can... Uh! See, why did he come to a halt? Lights on green and he just comes to a halt because he can't turn around there. Slow down by all means, because you need to make the turn, but you don't come to a stop. Yeah, most of the buildings look older in Freiburg. Older style architecture. I haven't yet seen any plush new looking office buildings. I'm not sure we're going to. I'm sure it's probably got the obligatory casino. Everywhere seems to have a casino. That's probably down there in front of us. Well there is a potential for some more modern looking buildings down there. So if there is a modern looking downtown area, it's down there. And we're not going there. And I can't see the lights. You have to listen to the rain falling for a little while. Listen to the rhythm of the falling rain. That was quite a good song. That's a long time ago, 1960s I think that was. Not that I should be singing because of copyright on YouTube, but then with my singing they'd never recognise that as anything anyway, let's be honest. doing good thank you didn't trust either of you to do that there you go 
quite a strange route through to the bus stop, very winding around here, there and everywhere. It's almost like a bus on a route within the city, when it's stopping at loads of stops along the way. Maybe there's a one-way system or something, but we haven't been on a one-way street yet that I've noticed. Oh, speedy courier. You going? Yeah. Don't surprise me, you normally do. Mm. I need to get out behind you now. Seems like a bit of a torturous route to get to this bus stop, but... Traffic seems reasonably busy here, but they're not having been here before. We've got nothing to judge it against. Ooh, getting out's going to be fun. You can see we're going to be in a major traffic jam trying to get out of this place. You can see that now. Although if we go out that way, maybe not. Anyway, we're here. We're too early? Well, we're not too early, we're just early. There you are, all got your bags, excellent. Come on, door close. Okay, why won't the back door close? Thank you. Okay, so I can log out, I can go to my spreadsheet and say I was quite definitely on time, which preserves my 260 euros profit from that route, and that means next time we're ready to do the route back, so I'll see you then, take care, bye bye.